Hey guys, quick tutorial here on how to clone a machine in ESXi. So this is the ESXi console and you can see I have quite a few virtual machines and if you right click them you can see that there is no clone option and that's because I don't have vSphere. And basically what vSphere is, is a way to manage multiple ESXi systems and it gives a bunch of features like the clone option. Now since this is just ESXi on my Raspberry Pi, I don't have vSphere, so I actually have to manually clone these machines. So to do that, head on over to storage and then the data store browser. And then within there, create a new directory and then just name it whatever you want to call it. So I'll say Note 5 and then create directory. Then go into one of your other directories. So I have node one here, and then copy over the files. So the two files that you need to copy over is the VMX and then the VMDK. The VMX file is the settings file for the virtual machine. So I'm gonna copy this over, and then copy it over to my node five folder. And that went very quickly, because this is just a small file. So now I'll copy over the hard drive. So let's copy that over to node five. So copying over the hard drive is gonna take a few minutes, so I will see you when this completes. And I see I got an error here. It's an error because my virtual machine actually needs to be turned off. So I'm gonna shut it down really quick here. And then I will copy over the hard drive and this should work this time. And I can see the progress bar here, so it's copying over. I'll see you guys once this completes. All right, so it looks like uh, the virtual machine has copied over. So I'm gonna head on over to virtual machines, but I don't see node five here. I actually need to register the VM. So I'll hit register and then register an existing virtual machine and next. And then I'll select one more virtual machine and then find that folder and select it. Go ahead and hit next and then finish. And I can see a new virtual machine here, but you can see that it's named node one. And that's because it gets the host name from that VMX file. You could actually go into that VMX file and edit the host name and settings in there if you want. But I find it's just easier to go into it like this uh, right click and then rename and then I'll name it node 5 and now let's turn it on and it's going to give us a prompt here and basically it's asking if we move this virtual machine or if we copied it so we want to select copied it because this is going to make all the unique settings of the virtual machine actually unique so things like MAC address it's going to make sure it has a unique MAC address instead of just reusing the old one so I'll answer yes and then I can start it up and I'll start node one as well. And that's it. That's all you need to do to copy over a virtual machine. Now there's gonna be things on the OS level of this virtual machine, like the host name. So you'll need to go in there and do like a host name CTL rename. I have another video on that. If you wanna see the process for that, uh, go ahead and check out that video. I will link it somewhere around here. Anyways, thanks again for watching. And if you found this video helpful or entertaining, please leave a like or comment below. And if you wanna learn more about system architecture, DevOps, or IT in general, please check out my channel. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you all in the next video.